In this video, we're going to discuss setting up a custom field for your customers um, and how that is extended onto your different templates as well as on your reports. All right, so I'm going to start out by going into my customer center here. And I can choose any customer or job. I'm going to go ahead and right click and say edit customer. Okay, and then I go under additional information here and it has my defined fields. Click that button and I'm going to define what the label is on this customer. I think what I want to have it be is I want to have account manager. All right, so who's the account manager for this customer? Or another idea would be who is the service rep? Okay, so that they get the same service rep every time. So we're going to say we use this on customers. What type of data is it? It can be any text. It can be whole numbers, dates, phone numbers, users, multiple choice lists. On these where you're, where you're using a user's multiple choice list um, or a, a service rep list where you can have a multiple choice drop down, I would suggest using it. Okay, so I'm going to say use multiple choice list. So I put in here Joe... Renee, Sammy, Mike, Jim, Denise. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and sort this list so it goes back to alphabetical order here. You can check this box down here to allow users to enter their own text or not. I would say no because if this is if these are just the service reps that you have, you don't want someone creating a new one that spells Denise, you know, D-I-N-I-S-E on accident, all right? You want to keep them to using just these on the list, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and say okay. Now, if you want to require this on a transaction, you can go ahead and check that. That can tend to get kind of annoying um, if you do require it, but if you want to make sure that your customer, I mean, your um, employee has to put the service rep on the transaction, then you can do that. Also, if you want to require it on the list, so every time a new customer is created, you can check this and it won't let you save the customer until you fill in the service rep. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. OK, so now here's my service rep. You can see I have a drop down here. And for this, Christy Amber Crombie, I'm going to go ahead and pick Joe. Okay. So now we have the custom field here, and we want to go in onto our invoice, and we're going to customize our invoice. Go down to the custom data layout, and if you scroll down here on my headers, notice I have service rep. That's my custom field that I added in. So I want to go ahead and add service rep to the screen here. Notice how it puts it in a box over there. Uh, we're going to, we're in the packing slip right now. Let me go back into my company invoice and customize this. Customize data layout. Again, scroll down, choose service rep. Okay, so the service rep is added to the field right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Layout designer, move it around to the place where I want it to be moved. I want it to move up here and I want it to be the same. Oops, shift, click on this, click shift, click on this, click on this guy here and click on size. So it brings it down to the same size as these above. And then I also want to copy the format and paste that format onto these different boxes too. Okay? You can see all that information in our video about customizing your invoice template. So I'm going to say OK here. Adds the service rep field up there. OK. And notice how it's added now on my screen. So if this is for Kimberly, automatically pulls up Joe as their service rep. Doesn't mean I can't change it. So I can change the service rep if I want to, but it automatically pulls that field up here. I'm going to go ahead and 
create an invoice here. We're going to say it's uh, some brass hinges, quantity of five, and save this invoice. Okay. Now, again, the nice thing about keeping it custom like that is you can you can also run reports off of this this field here. So if I go up under reports, and I'm just going to go to a custom transaction detail report for now. First of all, on the display screen, I can scroll down and I can choose all the way at the bottom down here. Uh, let's see. We can choose, as soon as I find it, the service rep. Okay. And then in here, uh, we want to we want to total it by let's say by month. We're going to go ahead and total it by month, and we can do our filter and run it for service rep of Joe. So I want to see every transaction that has a service rep with Joe on it. Okay, it prints up for me the transaction. Uh, this is a detail report, so it gives me line item by line item detail, obviously. But you can see here, this is the one we just created. Here's a service rep, Joe. All right, so it's a great way to add a field that's a searchable field or a filterable field into QuickBooks. Okay. So that is how you add a custom field to your invoices, to your customers.